roads, streets, rooftops, driveways, and sidewalks. We see them every day and probably don't think about how they contribute to water pollution. In natural landscapes, most of the rainwater soaks into the soil. However, in urban areas, hard surfaces such as driveways, sidewalks, and streets prevent rainwater from soaking into the ground. Rainwater that does not soak into the ground is called stormwater runoff. As stormwater runoff flows over paved surfaces, it can pick up pollutants such as motor oil, metals, pesticides, and litter and carry them into storm drains, which flow directly into local creeks and the San Francisco Bay. One solution to water pollution is to add features that mimic natural landscapes to streets, buildings, and parking lots. We call these green stormwater features, and they allow stormwater runoff to soak into the ground and be filtered by soil and plants, or be collected for later use. These features also reduce the amount of runoff flowing into storm drains and local creeks. Other benefits include reducing local flooding, increasing green spaces, attracting butterflies and bees, and conserving water. Join us on this tour of local green stormwater features in Santa Clara Valley and learn how you can include these features in your own yard and landscape. We are now on Hacienda Avenue in the city of Campbell. Hacienda Avenue is lined on both sides with bioretention areas or rain gardens. Bioretention areas use plants, microbes, and a special soil mix to remove pollutants from stormwater runoff. Stormwater runoff from the street or the sidewalk flows into the bioretention area and soaks into the native soil below. This helps filter pollutants and slows the flow of rainwater to the storm drain, helping reduce local flooding. Bioretention areas can be built around buildings, in parking lots, and along streets. Bioretention areas, or rain gardens, can also be incorporated into residential landscapes, as seen in this beautiful garden in the city of San Jose. These areas can be maintained the same way as your regular landscaping. Using native plants can further enhance bioretention areas. Plants native to our area are generally drought tolerant and once established, require little maintenance. They provide beauty, color, and attract wildlife, such as butterflies and other pollinators that are vital to our ecosystem. If there isn't enough space to create a rain garden in your yard, you can direct roof downspouts into landscaped areas. This is an easy and inexpensive way to allow precious stormwater to soak into the ground. Our next green stormwater feature is rainwater harvesting in which roof runoff is collected and used later for irrigation. This helps reduce runoff and conserve water. Rainwater harvesting systems can range from a massive 6,600 gallon system, like the cistern located at the San Jose Environmental Innovation Center, to a simple 55 gallon rain barrel. Residential rainwater harvesting systems are available in a variety of shapes and sizes that blend into your home's exterior or even hide underground. Installing a rain barrel can also be a relatively simple do-it-yourself project with a repurposed barrel or a commercially purchased option. We now return to the city of Campbell to look at some green paving ideas. Pervious alternatives to traditional hard paving surfaces, like pervious asphalt, concrete, and pavers, also reduce stormwater runoff. These surfaces allow rainwater to soak through them and into the soil below. Pervious surfaces are used in many places, such as crosswalks in the Southgate neighborhood in the city of Palo Alto, and walkways here at Commodore Park in the city of San Jose. Residential applications include pervious pavers in backyards or pervious driveways, as seen in these houses in the cities of Campbell and San Jose. You can also integrate gravel, rocks, or greenery between paver stones or other hard surfaces to allow rainwater to soak in. 
Check the map on our website, mywatershedwatch.org, to explore green stormwater projects in Santa Clara Valley. You'll also find resources and rebates from local agencies to integrate these features into your landscape and help keep our community and local creeks healthy.